Sorry, is this putting you off your homework? It's distracting, isn't it? No, no, it's fine. Oh, all right. William, the toast. The toast! The toast! Mm -hmm. This whole... Oh. Brain food. Eat up. What have you got today? The last ones? Yeah, English and history. Latin. Media studies. William, uh, Kate and I want... Wait till Mary's here. Yeah. Uh, where, where is Mrs Ball? She's with her father. Can I have one of those? No, it's for your mum. I'm doing her breakfast in bed. Oh. Oh. I'll get it. <clears throat> Thomas, you can also eat the yoghurt. Ah, uh, you weren't expecting me. Yes, I was, yes, I was, yes, yes, yes. It's just this Oh, the, the week. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? No. Yeah, uh, I've got another bag to come. Terence, what's wrong? Oh, it's Dad. It's the end of the week. Uh, it's Friday, and Dad's trying to put us into school. Hey, give me that. Give me the phone. Give it here. Go and put Jerome in the car. Mary! Hi! Yeah, listen, he's being a good lad. He's being great. And I've been setting him homework in there. Yeah, but I'm not a teacher, you know? <laughs> so, um, I thought while he's here, well, he, he ought to be going to school, didn't he? Yeah? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, let's just see how it goes, cos, um, I mean, it's, it's a nice school. Yeah, why don't, why, why don't you come down and see us again? And stay with us this time, cos I really wanted to meet Maria and Jerome. W uh, well, I'm on call all over the weekend, yeah. um, so... Early next week. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah, anytime, anytime, because we'd love to see you. Yeah, okay. Bye. Feel free to laugh, but I can't take it off because Molly gave it to me. She said it's a lucky charm. All right, can I? It's a bit, can I? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> She said that um, my shaved head makes her worried that I'm ill. How is she? <sighs> you know, they said this stem cell stuff was going to knock her for six, so... Can I see her? No, no, um, she's only allowed one visitor a day. Are you sure it's all right, I mean, moving in? And... Yeah, yeah, of course. It's uh, Terence's room, yeah? All right. I was bringing you breakfast in bed. I'm going to work. Well, it's our breakfast. So maybe waking me up would have been more useful. Anyway, you'll be pleased to know Ruben's put Terence into a school. Oh. Um, but well, come on, have this. Oh, that's your response, is it? Can we turn the stupid music off? Oh, Mum, William, um, Kate and I have a problem. Not good time. Not good time. What? Nothing, sorry. Sorry. Hello? Hello. Rick, put a bobble hat on. You put a bobble hat on. Mr. Shawcross, oh, sorry I didn't call back yesterday. Um... No, uh, thanks for ringing me. Uh, I know there's no news. Um, it's just it's really hard for Mary having Terence down in Brighton. I just wondered if you had any idea of a, a sort of time frame for when he might come back. Uh, OK, sure. Um, well, there is some news, actually. Um... Can I pop around and see you later? Yeah, why don't you come and see me at my office? Yeah, sure. We'll speak then. Bye-bye. Bye. You all right looking after Thomas today? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just on the phone to... Yeah, well, we're all busy, aren't we? Busy, busy, busy. You were there. Uh-oh. Oh, yoghurt alert. Hey, hey, hey. You were there. Uh, oh, whoa! Ah, the old birdcage trick. Gotcha. God. 
gorgeous looking woman. How are you there, eh? Thomas is in the coffee store. You just let me know when you're coming back, and I'll pick you up. Oh, yes, I'll pick you up. No, 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 it's no trouble. No, just call, and uh, I'm thinking of you. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You lack dignity, Jane. You really do. Betty is understandable. Oh, it's Betty now, is it? Two weeks in Malta, and Mrs. Ball's Betty. Yes, and it's very interesting how she phones you here, so I have to pick up the phone when she could call you on your mobile. Jane, her father's not well. Oh, and how old is he? 107? Right, that's it. Oh, uh, Jane, uh, Arnold, please, come on. Come in. Can I ask a question, please? Uh, yes, you can. Jane, Thomas is in the coffin store. Would you mind? OK. Come in. And uh, bring your dog, too. No, thank you, no. I just wanted to know, um, if someone dies and you know they're dead, but don't know where they are, can you still have a funeral? Can I ask why you don't know where they are? Say they drowned. Ah, right. Um, no, you can't have a funeral. But you can have a service, something to mark the end of that person's life. It's like a funeral. Oh, OK. Do I have to make an appointment if I want to bring my mum to see you? No, you don't. Thank you very much. Come on, Marshall. You're welcome. Mary. What? Mary, can I see you for a minute, please? Yeah, sure. Um, Mary, we have a woman in intensive care, 34 weeks pregnant. She's been there for two months. Yeah, I've heard about this. Yeah, very sad. A piece of falling masonry just clipped her on the back of the head. And um, she's on life support, um, but before the delivery, uh, well, I thought about you. About me? Why? Well, uh, this woman's partner, he's uh, constantly by her side, and he knows that after the delivery, they will um, let her go. So he's making plans for the future, but um, he and the mother-to-be are not married, and consequently he has, unfortunately, no legal rights to the baby. Because for William... Uh... Sorry, that's the, the name of this man. Apparently, various health visitors have been vetting him, and we think that social services might be considering taking the baby into care. Taking the baby into care? On what grounds? Well, mothers obviously have automatic rights, but fathers, if they're not married, have none. Are you married? You have children, don't you? Um, yes, yes, I do. I, I, no, I'm not, I'm not married. Well, I'm not saying get down to the church immediately, because you and your partner can just sign an agreement, but um, do that at least, just in case. Well, shall I um, take you to see him? I mean, he is actually expecting us. Sorry, I took the liberty of assuming that you'd say yes. <laughs> OK, lead on. It's, um, it's lovely to see you again, Mary. Happiness. Rick. Yeah, it happens every so often. When you want a break, I thought I'd take him to see Molly, because she just lights up when she sees him. Well, be my guest, take him, spread the happiness, eh? God, let's go see Rick. <gasps> Fly out the window. Whoa. William, this is Mary. 
Hi, how do you do? Hiya. William, I I'm very sorry. But would you and Arnold please discuss ways in which I can be dissolved from our partnership? What? I'm sure you find it very silly. And I've loved working here, you know that. But I really do find Arnold's relationship with Mrs. Bald well. Jane. I'm going to live with my sister in Deal. Hello? Um, is Mr. Shawcross in? Yes. Um, through here. Oh, apologies. Well, I have to take this. Oh, hi. Sorry, I, I need the loo. It's a bit tricky at the moment. I started applying to the courts to try and adopt the baby. My child. It's crazy. It's not that we were ever against marriage. I'm just happy the way we were. I think Terence should stay put for a good six months. Six months? You know, Mr. Shawcross, I'm sorry, but the boys Terence crossed really don't care. And they come from a long line that don't care. The chances are this will never get to court. But it will take time. So what can I do? Boss! Sorry. Thanks for coming. William! Have I got something for us? Well, can I play you something? Yeah, please do. If you need me, I'll be at home. Jane? Jane? Oh, that's all I need. Arnold? Jane's asked me, she's just asked me. And I think she's serious. Sorry, shall I wait? Uh, yeah, could you turn it down a little bit? I'll go and see her now. She's gone home, right? Yes, she has. Oh, um, don't make it worse, okay? William, it's McKinnon and Spaulding. It's ridiculous. You and me, we're gonna sing this. What? Oh, this Mr. Stroud? Hi, how is she? Mrs. Stroud's in radiotherapy, but Mr. Stroud, your wife's already had a visitor today. Okay, Molly, try and relax now, okay? Try and breathe normally. You can cross your arms like this for me. I'm just going to put one around your ankles, okay? Just so that they can keep nice and still. Got these little stickers that help us measure the dose as we go. Hey! I told you. I'm one visitor, and you know I told you. Rick. And then you go and see her. I, I was here. I was in the building. I had Look, I had There's to... one visitor. Well, the, the next few days while well, they're poisoning her, it's me, okay? It's me. Yeah, okay. Look, well, let me take Thomas. No, 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 I want. I want to get a nurse to hold him up at the window. He doesn't count as a visitor. Look, it's all right, because they're going to let me in, but... And I don't want to be cross with you. I need you. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. Dogs, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But Billy, we can't sing all, bro. No, 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 no. We, we'll just do it like any other song. We'll put some guitars on it and we'll, we'll just sing it. What do you think? Yeah, all right. You're mad. <laughs> Sorry, can you turn it off? Hello. Oh, hello. This is my mum, and this is Lottie, and Andrew's in Shoreham, and Marshall's back home. Marshall's the dog. Right. Our lovely health visitor's name is Pam, and uh, she's laid on a baby for you to weigh and measure. Yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah, 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 sure. The, the mother won't mind. Oh, no, no. It's our fifth. She's delirious anyway. <laughs> Dad took us out fishing. Well, Andrew, me, and Marshall, the dog. Uh, 
Andrew's my eldest. He's 12. He's with Jim's parents down on the south coast in Shoreham. Yeah, because it was Gran and Grump's boat we went out on. It's like a rowing boat, but with a motor, an outboard motor. And I was steering. We went way out because it was calm. There was a mist, but it was calm. And we were fishing and catching some. And then Andrew gets a six-pounder, and Dad was leaning over to pull it in. And I moved when I shouldn't, and the boat went, whoa! And Dad fell in. He was laughing away and still bringing the line. And then the dog jumps in to help him. Then Dad threw the fish up on board, and then the dog. And he was laughing away. And then he's gone, just gone. We looked and called and waited, and then started the motor in case we were drifting. And Troll came by, and they looked too, and lots of other boats in a helicopter. But they never found him. It's three weeks now. So because of the currents and the tides, maybe they never will. Maybe he'll end up in Germany, because that happened to a woman once in an island off Germany. Yes, I heard about that. She was further around, though. Perhaps Dad might make it to Belgium. Um, David, could you do something for me? Down that corridor, there's, um, a kitchen. Is he allowed to make tea? Of course I am. Well, the tea's on top and the milk's in the fridge. Thank you. Thanks. Lottie, not that I don't trust him, but would you go and keep an eye on him? And don't tell David, but there's a tin of biscuits in the top cupboard. You have children? Yeah. I can tell. You have the art of distracting them. <laughs> Jim had it. I never did. I wish I had. <laughs> How are you? Oh, I... In limbo. But everyone's very kind. The school, Jim's workplace, the trawler men who found the boys. I can't believe they phone every day. People are kind. But I'm not very good at dealing with the kids right now. With Lottie, who doesn't seem to understand, of course, and Andrew, who does, and wants to be in Shoreham so he can be near his dad. I, I don't know how to help him. But I am saved by David. You're not worried by his, um... His happiness. Um, well, yeah. No. Because he says he sees Jim. He says he's seen Jim, and he's still laughing. And whatever anyone else thinks about that, he is comforted. I mean, he misses Jim terribly, but there's no anxiety. But she's good. Yeah, except he told Jim's parents that he'd seen Jim. You have to understand, I've never been good enough for Jim in his mother's eyes, and basically she thinks that Jim swam ashore and has done a runner, <laughs> which is, <Yeah>. you know... <laughs> and one of the reasons why I want to put an end to this. You're right with him. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just thinking ahead. Wish my husband did that. <laughs> Wouldn't look after him, love. <laughs> Is this your first? Oh, she's um, not actually. Uh... Oh, we've thought about getting more nooky if he helps out, has he? <laughs> he won't have to do much, though, will he? <laughs> She won't speak to me, at least not with a civil tongue in her head. When's Mrs. Ball back? Day after tomorrow. Wait, do you think that might exacerbate things? Hmm? I don't know. Probably, but we're off to the seaside tomorrow. Oh, yes. What's going on? I'm going to see Terence for the weekend. Can you hold him a sec? Yeah. Oh, that's my cab. Well, how come you're going for the weekend? I thought you were working. Yeah, well, I was, and now I'm not. Well, look, I have to be in Brighton tomorrow. Should we meet up in the evening? William, 
I'm going to see Terence. You don't seem to mind him not being around, but... Well, of course I mind, Mary. Where are you going to stay? With Reuben? Yeah, I expect so. Mum? William? Um, Katie and I have a proposal. Brendan, not now. No, Mum's going to love this. You will, you wait, cos... If we get good grades this summer, like the grades we need for university... Yeah, that's right, Mum. No plumbing. I will go to university if... And here's the proposal. If you and William help us get two round-the-world air tickets. Look, we want to take a year out and go together. Then university. Talk about it. Think it over. I think I timed that right. I know what you're thinking. Do you? Here, let me get it. Yeah, I do. It's like, you know, everyone's going away. Everyone. Yep. Um, and really hope you haven't gone away for the weekend. OK, bye. Just got your course. We were out because Friday night's fish and chips and that. Oh. So, uh, uh, yeah, Terence is uh, babysitting Jerome and uh, Maria's out at night school. By the way, Terence loves his school. Oh, good. Come here then. To her. I know. She's gone down there to spend time with Terence, not you lot. We haven't seen Terence either. And we really didn't do anything last night. Yeah, because Terence wasn't here. Right. Yes, but look, I'm not going down to Brighton for a day out. I've got to take your family down for a memorial service. So just give us some money and we'll take another train. OK, you've booked seats, right? So we'll get on another carriage. Yeah, you won't even know we're there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get our stuff. Come on. Yeah, the food says to stay home. Uh, I think it said cancer. I think delayed has now become cancer. Mum, what shall I do? Yeah, shall I do you in? David, I can't. Oh, that dog's away Marshall. again. It's OK, Marshall, stay. But we'll go and ask what time the next train is. Come on, Mum. David, I'll play another game with you. Thanks, but you're not very good at it, are you? Mum, sorry. No, 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 no. Um, I don't know if it'll work. But my children are here somewhere. They're getting the same train as us. Shall I get them? Um, yeah. Should we go and find them? Yeah? Guys, come on. Come on. 
Brothers get to know each other. Look at them. Huh? You two go off now. This is this is great. Go on. This is great. Isn't this great? This is great. And Thomas can get to know his stepdad before all the others arrive. Ruben, Ruben, Thomas is not related to you in any way. Yeah, but I just... And not to Jerome in any way. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Dad. I married a child, but fortunately, I like children. Oh, oh. <laughs> Give me the ball back. <laughs> what? What was that? It was a good ball. <laughs> Give me the ball. I really, 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 really ever so miss you, you know. I really miss you. Hey. It's OK. It's my fault. I miss you too. I miss you all. Mwah. So how's Gren? Oh, you know, she's, um... She's all right, you know. Hey. I'll tell you what, let's go to the cinema and pick the worst woman off her and just sit there. Shall we do that? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go and do that. Yeah, I'd come like on. that. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! Uh, wow. <laughs> hey, where's, where's Julia? Julia's not here, that's not. Ah, oh, she's not all here. She's coming along later, she's with William. Yeah? yeah. Okay, come on, come on. So, Brendan, this is Maria. Maria, this is what they grow up to. <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh, this is the beautiful Kate, <laughs> William's eldest, and my stepdaughter. Now, as far as I'm concerned, whatever anyone else says. You can be my stepdad. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <sighs> and Jerome and Thomas, come and see, come and see. They're sleeping in the cot, right, head to toe. And the last time I went in, Jerome was sucking Thomas's toes. <laughs> This morning. She said, like, this is stupid. Dad's still alive. You know, and they're not even coming with us. Andrew, what did you say? The worst. What? What did you say? I don't know. Something like, oh, F off, you old effing. effing C. Did she hear you? Good. Mum's really missing you. Look, 
there. David's seeing Jim. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. You're not coming, Gran? She's coming. I am not. This is... This is previous. You're being previous doing this. And if the time ever comes, it should be in a church. We'll be there. You all right? to go something to match your catch. Hey, stop that. William is my inspiration, though. Mary? OK, OK, what's going on? Oh. Oi, look who's here. Ben, where are you going? Julia's here, just arrived. Oh, don't worry, William's not here. Mary, you know, William was right about Terence coming down here. Yeah? Yeah, I, I know. Rick? Mary? Mary, oh shit. <laughs> what? Rick, what is it? Just tell me. Just tell me. Rick! <laughs> I think you should come back. I think you should be here. I think we might be losing it. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Sh Mary, what's. What is that? Uh, uh... I've got to go. Okay. Um, I'll, get, I'll get them all together. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Yeah! Oh! Ah, ah, ah. 
Mr. Shawcross, Mr. McCann, thank you so much. Oh, no, no, it was David mainly, wasn't it? No, but you made it happen. I had no idea if Jim's parents would be part of our lives anymore. Mom, come on! Thank you again. And thank you, Julia, for me, eh? Bye. Looking for a message from Jane? No, Mary. Okay, well, can we see her? Look at me. Rick, look at me. She's gonna be okay. She is. I know it. I know it. I know it. William, you have some fearsome Norfolks to learn. Oh, great. Yep. And harmonies. So we're doing it in French, are we? In French, get out. It's Spanish, isn't it? Bizet is Spanish. I think you'll find his French. You're certainly singing in French. Am I? Oh. Well, there you go. I'm just so European. No What's up? What kind of man, Mrs. Woman? Mary's away. Have a look at the Norfolks. There you go. Will Thomas be all right if he stay? He's with the kids. What did they say when you told them about Mom? I didn't. Because she's going to be all right. Your wife would like to see you now. See? This is Molly's daughter. Only one of you can come in, I'm afraid. And you can, of course, wait. But I'd advise getting some rest for later. Can we reach you somewhere? Yeah, yeah, I'll be on my mobile. Actually. I've cracked it. Have you? Yeah. You're mad. You're mad. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. I mean, I know you think I'm kidding, right? But, you know, I see Rick and I see how much he loves Mum. Yeah, and that's what this is all about. Your mum. You're worried about your mum. No, it started before that. You know, I see how much he loves her, and I think... Why? Why didn't I have any of that? Well, you did. I mean, Rick adored you, and you didn't want it. Well, I didn't want Reuben either, but he asked me to marry him. Well, you know, he didn't ask. Of course he didn't ask, but... Obviously, that's what I wanted, because that's what I heard. And then there's the, you know, Ormerond guy. 
I mean, what is going on in my head? Well, Mr Omron, the paediatric guy. Yeah. I mean, all he said was, it's lovely to see you again, and suddenly I'm shacking up with him. And then there's William Mark, too. Apparently, I like the idea of him never having been married. Mary. You know, I saw him at the hospital, and he, and he asked me out for a meal. I, I mean, he didn't mean anything, but... Mary, I... I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Do you? Do you? I don't think so. Where's William in all this? He sent Terence away. No. Yeah, he sent him away, Doris. You don't understand. You know, this could be the last year I have my family all together. Do you think about that? No, William did what was right. He did it for Terence and he did it for you. And he did it because he loves you. Oh, Jesus. He loves you like I dream of being loved. So you think about that. And don't you dare do him wrong. with mum. Something's gonna happen. Has to happen. But I don't know which way it's gonna go. Just left hoping. Well, I've got a plan to get Terence back. How? Get him on how? What do you mean, when? As soon as possible. Well, well, by doing what? Don't tease me. I'm not, sorry. We move across town, move away from all the trouble. We'll rent somewhere as soon as we can, then sell this place whenever. We'll get Terence back. Um. Yeah. Yes, yes, please. Mm. Thank you. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Mm. Thank you. 